Well, I wasn't planning on doing another one of these at all, but I kind of got talked into it recently. Uh, I've been contacted by um, some dancers in the New York City Ballet and some other people in New York uh, to basically fill me in on kind of the latest thing that's been going on. And the board is still interviewing people, and even though I was told they were leaning towards um, a, an ex-ballerina because of, well, you all know what's going on in the um, Me Too movement, and to be politically correct, uh, they felt uh, they should have a strong, popular female leading the company, and I certainly can't uh, disagree with that logic. However, as I said in the very beginning of this experiment, my purpose was to reintroduce myself uh, to many people in New York that don't know me. I haven't worked there in a long time, although I have been staging Balanchine regularly all these years, uh, over 10 ballets for the Paris Opera, Budapest, I mean, I get all over the place, China, um, staging the Balanchine ballets and teaching. And my my concern still remains that whoever they choose has to understand the importance of the Balanchine repertory and the technique and the style and the whole look of the New York City Ballet, which has been changed quite drastically since his day. And I am a voice from the past, distant past, but I'm still young enough and I'm still energetic enough that I think I could bring a lot of it back. Now, there are other ballet masters that can stage his ballets, um, some very well that I would like to consider using for the company, that worked for him, that know more about what Balanchine really wanted than some of the people now. Um, I would like to have an, a female, a woman, uh, be my assistant director to take over at the proper time. And I was thinking about actually the two ballerinas uh, that I think are being considered right now, I was actually thinking of them, one of them, or both of them, to um, be like my deputy director so that I could actually train them so that when the time came for me to move on, there would be somebody really thoroughly trained and in place. You see, my fear is the break in the chain. And Peter Martins, for all of his problems, um, he, did, he didn't take a lot of them, but he did take Balanchine's class. Um, he was there when Balanchine was choreographing on him. He had an idea of, you know, how the company should be based on how Balanchine wanted it. Um, I can criticize a lot, but I won't. Uh, but now, all the people that I understand they're considering never worked for Balanchine. And I think it's crucial that they have someone there you know, that works for Balanchine and understands the style and understands the technique. And as I said in my earlier postings, Balanchine had me teaching company class and had me teaching at SAB. I started teaching when I was 20. And he would, that was part of my training. He told me that he wanted me to teach and he would correct me and he taught me how to teach. So I think it's important, whether it's me or somebody else, but as I said before, there's really not that many of us. Suki Shore knows how to teach Balanchine. Merrill Ashley knows how to teach Balanchine. I don't know if they're being considered. I don't think so, but it's very, very important. Otherwise, it's just going to really be a break. And that would be really self-defeating for the New York City Ballet to lose that Balanchine edge. And it has been chipped away over the years, which is, you know, inevitable, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, it can be restored. Uh, you know, Balanchine had a specific lighting plot he liked, which made the dancers look like angels. I told you before, he always thought the dan dancers were angels. But there's so much that concerns me. Um, and evidently, from what I've been told, the board is still talking to people and and... and I can understand why the board wants to be um, very careful about the figurehead for the company and be politically correct, and there's a lot of things going on. But be that as it may, it should not be at the expense of having a true genius 
that we all served kind of shunted to the side in a way for expediency. Um, there's a way to have it all, quite frankly. I think the board could have it all. And as I told them that I would be very happy to work with a, um, you know, a female director, whatever. Um, I don't really care about the titles. I, I don't care about that. I care about the company, the balancing repertory, and developing dancers, which is another crucial thing. Who's going to develop the next generation of, of artists, stars, what have you? I mean, that also takes a different facility than just rehearsing ballets or teaching. And I do have a track record at that. You know, so again, I don't care about a title. I care about the health of the balancing end of the company. And of course, continue with new choreographers and bring in everybody and encourage Justin Peck and you know, all the other ones that have a lot of talent, but not at the sake uh, of losing the balancing. That's all I care about. I really do. And I, I, obviously you can tell I'm very concerned that it's going to, it's one thing to bring in Patty McBride or Valella or Kay Mazo to coach a particular ballet. That's fine. And that should have been done all this, all this time. But it's more than that if you're a hands-on director. It's the teaching. It's the coaching. It's the developing the new talent. And that can't be done just bringing somebody in to rehearse a ballet every now and then. So I hope the board in their quest, and it's hard on them. I mean, they, you know, this is a lot they have to take in. It just really could go very badly, um, or it could be, could be okay. But New York City Ballet deserves better than just okay. And obviously I think, I would do a good job at it, <laughs> but um, that's up to the board. But I, I, I really wish they'd consider what I've been saying in these posts. So I'll sign off, um, but I was urged to do this by some dancers in the company. I was urged not to give up by other people in administrative positions in New York, not just with the New York City Ballet, but people that know me from my New York years. And, um, and they've just urged me to continue this. So one more posting from me and then Maybe you won't hear from me again for a while. All right, thank you. Take care.